What is going on guys? Eagle Aquatics back here and today we are going to be talking cleaner crews. Every single type of cleaner you could get for a reef tank and my opinions on what they do and also um, uh, info on all of them. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through all of them, uh, saying what uh, they clean and uh, what I have, uh, my experience with all of them. So yeah, oh, there's a bunch of them too, and they're all cheap. Cleaner crews are not very expensive, um, so you could get a lot for a little bit of money. Alright, so uh, let's start out with hermit crabs. Um, first you got the probably the most common um, is the dwarf blue leg hermit. Um, these guys are awesome. My hermit crabs are probably personally one of my uh, favorite cleaner crew members. Probably my favorite one. Out of like the cheaper ones, like snails and stuff, I prefer hermit crabs because um, they're all over the place. They get everywhere. Um, super good cleaners. Um, you could add them right away when you start uh, seeing algae blooms in your tank. When you first start up a uh, aquarium, they're great cleaners. Um, easy to uh, care for, and uh, it's it's fun to see them um, switch cells as they get older and bigger. And uh, they can grow to a decent size. I mean, if you let them get that big, they look pretty good. So, uh, yeah, one one of the more fun cleaner members, uh, and you could get a lot of them. I think uh, rule of thumb is like a hermit crab per one or two gallons of aquarium water, which is about what I have. Uh, I have a mix of all of them. So yeah, the blue leg hermit is really cool because it's it's. Um, sorry about that background noise. Uh, the uh, it's got a lot of blue on it, some orange antennas, it's pretty cool. Um, and then you got the Scarlet Reef Hermit, which uh, is the all the red, all red hermit. They're a little more expensive, I think they run around three or four dollars per one. Um, these guys are awesome, the color form is great, uh, they're pure red, it's crazy. I think I got like two or three in here, and uh, yeah, they look really good. Um, there's the dwarf red tip hermit, uh, which is very common. It's your like standard uh, reef reef dwelling hermit that you can get for like a dollar. Um, they're really good too. That's that's the majority of my hermits are those, just because they're so cheap. Um, and uh, you can come across variations of hermit crabs that are albino. I've got a few albino ones. They're pretty cool. But uh, hermit crabs are um, like my favorite cleaner. Um, they're fun to watch and uh, it's fun to see them switch shells and grow up too. So uh, yeah, I love those guys. Um, so uh, let's go on to snails now. I got a few snails in here, not as many as I have hermit crabs. Um, I have a few Astrea turbos. Um, those guys are really good. Probably one of my favorite uh, snails because they're life they're pretty hardy uh, and they have a pretty good lifespan and their shell sna or their shells look really cool too um, it's like a cone shell and they're white it's pretty cool yeah those guys are constantly moving around the tank eating everything they're a very active snail unlike some other ones um, now uh, All right, as uh, sorry about that. Um, keep that topic going on snails. Um, next, you got the Nisaria snails. Um, I got a few of them. Uh, they're really cool snails, um, but they do hide a lot. They're underneath the sand bed a lot. You don't see them very often, but you do see them when you feed like frozen foods, because uh, they're more known for eating uh, like dead, dead fish or like dead stuff. Um, so you'll see them every now and then come out of the sand and go to a few different places. They're pretty cool. I like their color form. Um, then you got probably the most popular snail being the Mexican turbo snail. I have one big guy in here. Um, those guys are awesome. I love Mexican turbos because they're so big and, uh, I mean, it's just a fun snail to watch because, uh, they're pretty fast. No wonder they call them turbos. Uh, they're very, um effective at cleaning off all the algae and stuff. 
they're really good on hair algae and uh, just the algae that grows on the glass. Uh, you got a very cheap snail being the Sarath snail, which uh, the Sarath snail is um, what most baby hermit crabs grow out their shells. All the shells of the baby hermits are pretty much Sarath snails. Uh, those guys are good. I don't think I've kept Sarah snails actually, but um, I've heard they're really cheap and they're probably pretty effective. Uh, you'll probably lose them because the hermit crab population might kill them off because most hermit crabs have uh, Sarah snail shells, so I'm not sure about that. Um, now we got shrimps and crabs. Um, I love shrimp. Oh, there's one more snail in them. The fighting conch snail, uh, right here. I love. That's probably my favorite snail of all the snails. I, it's just so cool. Um, super super great sand bed cleaners. Uh, they will clean all the tritus food, everything off the bottom. Super effective snail, and they're not very expensive either. They got awesome shells. They're pretty big, um, and you see their eyes. They got two eyes that come up from their shell. It's pretty awesome. They got the trunk like mouth. It's, it's such a cool snail. Love that guy. Um, Any more? Oh, yeah, you, you also got margarita snails. I got a few of those guys. Um, they're also very effective snails. They got like a black body. Uh, it's pretty cool. Very effective too. Um, and uh, you also got bumblebee snails. Um, I've heard good and bad things about those guys. I've never keep kept them, um, but I they're probably pretty good snails. Uh, let's move on to shrimp now. Uh, starting out with the peppermint shrimp. Um, I have kept these guys in the past. They're very cool shrimp. Um, they're a smaller variation. They don't get as big as like your um, skunk cleaners and coral banded shrimps. Um, they're awesome. You got all all red body. It's pretty cool. Uh, that's a cool, and they're cheaper than all the rest of the um, um, shrimp. Uh, all right, and then we got the coral banded shrimp, one of my personal favorite shrimp um, because it's so big and it's got the two um, two claws. It's such a cool snail or uh, shrimp. I mean. Uh, you can get them in multiple color variations. Uh, they're great cleaners. They go through your corals, uh, clean all your corals off. Um, and they have a really cool look to them. They're fun to feed, too. Um, and they're hardy. They can defend themselves really good, so you don't have to really worry about fish bothering them. Um, you got arrow crabs. I've never kept one. I've always wanted to keep one. They got the super long, sticky legs. And... Uh, the small body. Um, I hope to get one of those eventually. They're awesome. Uh, they're effective cleaners too for good things. Uh, you, you got your skunk cleaner shrimps and blood red, blood red shrimp, shrimps. Uh, very, very. My favorite shrimp of all time is the skunk cleaner. Uh, they clean your hand when you put them in the tank. They uh, clean the fish, coral, everything. One of the best uh, cleaners I think you can have. I feel the need for one of those guys in every reef tank. Um, super fun to feed. Ton of personality in those guys. Just an awesome shrimp. Uh, Alright, and then we got crabs. Um, emerald crabs. Probably the only thing that will ever clean up bubble algae if you ha ever have that problem. Uh, so that's what they're most known for. Um, really cool crab. Uh, Something really different in the clean. It's it's cool. It's cool having a crab. Uh, there's also pom pom crabs. They're really tiny. I've never kept one of those, um, but hey, maybe eventually. Um, there's the uh, pistol shrimp too. Another shrimp I left out. Uh, really cool shrimp. It's got the big claw. Guards by the uh, gobies, and then. Um, then we got uh, starfish. Uh, you got sand sifting stars. I've kept those in the past. Really awesome. Um, you don't see them as much as you would see other stars because they hide in the sand bed a lot. But they do sift the sand and they're, and they're great for that. Um, you got serpent stars. Really good. 
collect all the algae and detritus everywhere. They're really cool to watch too because they got super long arms. So it's really cool. Uh, never kept one of those, but I hope to. Um, I've also kept um, black tip. I don't know what you call them, orange sea stars. They have black tips on them. Really cool. I recommend those most because they got cool color for them and they're always out. Uh, that's a really good one. And then you got uh, urchins. I've only kept the uh, pincushion urchin, the pink one. Um, very cool to have. I unfortunately didn't have enough algae in my tank to keep it alive for very long. So you didn't last too long. But uh, urchins are awesome. I love those guys. Hope to keep them in the future again. Um, but I love urchins. They're awesome. You also got the short spine urchin. A little more expensive. Uh, they got more defined spines. They got a cooler look to them. And you also got the blue tuxedo which is a really cool variation. It's got blue stripes and uh, rows of uh, just flat without spines. It's an awesome, awesome urchin. Uh, urchins aren't very expensive. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for the cleaner crews, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, got something out of it. Now you know what to buy for your uh, cleaner crew for your reef tank. and. Uh, Hope you found this informational. Uh, if you have any questions, um, like, comment, subscribe. I answer all questions and comments. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.